Hey, 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 and welcome, and welcome back to my channel. This is Natasha Ifoma, and if you are here for the first time, thank you for coming to watch a video. If you are coming back for another video, thank you so much for the support. The first thing that I want to say in this video is that I'm super, super proud of myself for driving on the other side of the world, on the other side of the car, and on the other side of the road. I know I look like I'm chilling, and it was all good, but I was nervous as hell my anxiety was through the roof but i did it though anyway this whole video is about my glamping experience in manchester united kingdom so make sure you keep watching for more So if you watched my previous video, then you would know that I traveled from New York City to London and stayed there for a couple of days. But the real point of me coming to the UK was to come glamping in Manchester. So we took a three hour train ride and then rented a car so that we can get to our glamping location and have transportation if necessary. So we stayed at the Secret Garden. This was researched by my sister who's too, totally into glamping and knew that this was one of the most popular glamping locations in the world. So we wanted to experience this. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to show you around the location, show you where we stayed. And then also we're gonna talk more with Derry, the owner of the glamping spot and talk about his story. And he actually showed us all the other properties. So that's really, really, really cool. So it was nighttime when we got there and we had a cold to get into our pod. We were so excited to get here and the drive was only about 20 to 30 minutes from the airport. It was pretty straightforward and the directions once we got in were excellent. That is our room right there. I'll show you that in a second. Just wanna show the outside area. That's a little chair that's covered up. There's the jacuzzi. It says happy birthday because we were celebrating an early birthday for myself. And just look how beautiful the decor is. I love it. These were some goodies that we had. Some croissants, granola, and yogurt, fruits, crackers, snacks. Just snacks and snacks and snacks. And it was just really cute to have. I thought this was a really cute addition. It definitely came in handy on the late night. You do have the option of ordering Uber Eats and having it delivered. So that's not like, it's not like you're stuck without any op food options. But this was cute. I believe the Moet was part of the birthday package. You already know I was feeling that. So this is the inside of our pod and where we would sleep. We had some marshmallows so that we can put them on the fire pit. The space is small, but the bed was big enough to fit the two of us comfortably. This is our very adorable and functional bathroom. Sorry, I didn't get the shower. The property is actually very beautiful, very calming, very relaxing. There's so much space and I absolutely loved my time there. There are about six or seven other pods that Derry has. I know he was working on some other ones and he took us around to see them. So we're gonna show that. Uh, my name is Derry. And I'm the, uh, yeah, I'm the owner and founder of the Secret Garden Glamping. And how did Secret Garden Glamping come about? So this all started when first lockdown 2020, uh, me and the kids stuck here, nothing to do. Uh, so this project was just something to give us, you know, to entertain us for a little while. So I started building this first pod. It started as a deck and we camped on it the first night, set up a little tent and I had a little fire pit and stuff. And then as days turned into weeks and then months, we just kept building and kept doing a bit more each day. And by the end of lockdown, all this, this first one was done. So this is the hideout. This is the first pod that Derry built for himself and his kids. I just love the layout of this. I love the projector screen and the lounge chairs so you can watch whatever movie and the fire pit that was added. I couldn't imagine being a kid and being in lockdown and having a parent just build something like this for an escape. It's just such a totally cool idea. So I really wanted to know how Derry went from building a little pod in the back for himself and his kids to being booked for over two years in a row. And this is what he said. Um, and then I'd updated my own social media and somebody shared it with a friend of theirs and they did um, a publication about it. 
um, and they wanted to do a story on what a dad had built in lockdown for his kids. So they did that story and that went viral. That had like 10 million views. So I had people contacting me from everywhere wanting to come and stay. Um, and then from there, I put it on Airbnb. I thought, why not? You know, I've got nothing to lose. Um, and it just went off. Um, this was fully booked for two years in advance within three days. And then from that, I could see there was obviously a gap in the market for what I'd done. You know, if, if people wanted to book this all the time, then what, what can I do going forward? And then that's what it is now. Each day is a new day of trying to beat what I've done before and make it even better then. Dope, I yeah. love it. Paul does all the maintenance in general, so making sure we keep on top of everything as we go forward. And that makes sense. Those are the walls. I'm gonna put that in my house. Yeah. Yeah. So this all opens you up again. Yeah, there. big cinema that sits out here. Yes, I love uh, that. Everyone comes, okay. Yeah, so the next test will be at three o'clock. Okay. So we've got the Between the mirrors, the swings, the slides, the outside copper shower, the copper bathtub. I could truly stay in any one of these pods that Derry has here. They're all amazing. I absolutely love every single one. Definitely want to stay in the tree house. The tree house was super duper dope. But just look at this. I just love it all. Oh, that's so cool. And then the tub. Did the TV show also come here? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we've done a few TV shows now. Oh my god, and you can go up there. Yeah, yeah. So, so this was supposed to be the biggest one, the last one I was doing. So we've got the hot tub area here. And under here we've got an outdoor pool table. Yeah. yeah. that gate but when I built that bit I wanted a bridge I was like I'm gonna have a bridge so and I said I was gonna build a bridge out to there then I built it a bit further to here then when I got here I thought oh I want to incorporate this big tree coming through it so I did this bit of the deck then I bought the slide so we made it even bigger it just kept expanding and expanding every time So my video truly does not do this place justice. It's absolutely amazing, so creative. I love it so much. We were hungry, so we made our way to the supermarket. Remember, I didn't want to drive too much, but we did go to the supermarket and get our necessities and our libations, and then we had some dominoes. We just wanted to keep it simple and have something in our bellies and keep it pushing. But um, yeah, everything worked out perfectly. We came back started the fire Derry helped us start the fire but to keep it going was a process i was proud of that too y'all then it was time to make s'mores i'm the worst with s'mores because i don't like chocolate so i really just want the graham cracker and the marshmallow but that works for me there's tons and tons and tons of photo ops, so you know I love that. It's just really such a chill vibe and just relaxing and peaceful. I just love it, love it, love it. I had to do my birthday pictures, you already know. The hot tub does have to be preheated, and I will say it was kind of difficult to get in the hot tub. It was the end of April, and it was around 60 to 65 degrees, but it was cold. It was cold out there. Of course, once you get in the water, it's not so bad. But actually getting in the water and coming out of the water was rather difficult. England's weather, I don't know about it. It, 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 it. it was a little bit of a turn off, just a little bit. Overall, I did have a great time in the UK and I had an amazing time glamping at the Secret Garden. I will leave all the information in the description box for anyone who is interested. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, I hope that you would hit a like, leave a comment. If you subscribe and hit the notification bell, you'll be notified each time that I post a video. Thank you again so much for coming to watch and I hope to see you again soon.